Hey YouTube, matches eight six zero. Smoking my Rick Black mortar pipe with some squadron leader Samuel Goweth. And I'm gonna ramble on about it today. Got to keep my eye open though for bears because there's fresh scat all over the place. Those bears are trying to get their last meal in before the snow falls and it gets freezing out. Anyway, back in the 90s when I was frequenting the uh, nearest brick and mortar, I used to go in and I'd see the tins of squadron leader. I said to myself, I'm not going to fall for that just because of the tin art. Always wanted a, a tin of this just for the artwork on it. Of course, had no idea about tobaccos back in those days. So I never bought it. In October when uh, Pipes and Kayaks in Mark and Rhode Island and I got together, Mark and Rhode Island gifted me this tin. Couldn't wait to break it open. Opened it about two weeks ago. and was amazed. Can't believe it took so long to get a hold of it. Show you what it looks like. Beautiful ribbon cut. Kind of reminiscent of uh, the esotericas when they uh, do those in the ribbon. The uh, moisture level's about the same. It's got fantastic tin note that you would expect from uh, its components, which are Virginia, Latakia and Orientals. That may sound a little familiar to some of you because it's the same components that are in Penzance. And if you remember I did a review of Penzance right here at Suburban Park and I mentioned being able to pick out the Virginias, the Latakia, the Orientals and uh, this blend is totally different and my first bowl I uh, kept searching. The Latakia is right up front. You can't miss it, obviously. Usually it is up front. The uh, Virginias, you know that they have to be there because it's not straight Latakia, obviously. And it's the same thing with the Orientals, at least on my palate. You might be a little different, but uh, what I get out of this is just a beautiful English blend. And when I finished the bowl, 
I got this aftertaste with slightly smoky Latakia, but kind of a medium pop of the Orientals in the aftertaste. What a fantastic experience. Now the thing that blew my mind, I've always mentioned, when you smoke a flake, everything tends to get muted out because it's all mixed together and it has been mixed together for so long. Usually when you're burning it in the bowl, it's kind of burning in equal amounts that the manufacturer created it for. Ribbon cut, as a rule, at least it's been my experience, you tend to get highs and lows throughout the bowl depending on what happens to be burning at the time. Not the case with this, and I don't understand it. It blows my whole theory. I think this is my fourth bowl. And it's the same experience. Nothing I can... Uh, can pick out, except the Latakia, of course. But again, you know the other stuff is there because it's more than just the Latakia. Kind of reminds me of when I was growing up. <clears throat> now and then we'd end up with uh, sour milk in the refrigerator. My mom would make these cookies that you could only make with sour milk. The recipe called for all this weird stuff. And I used to watch her make it. When the cookies were done, I'd try to figure out where that sour milk came into play and the salt and the baking powder and I finally gave up trying to figure it out. Decided I'd just enjoy the freaking cookies. Same thing with this. Very, very pleasant. And of course, uh, <clears throat> on a day like today, it's 41 degrees, sitting here by the water. I'm in heaven. That's my little review on Squadron Leader. Anyone who uh, has never tried an English tobacco before, this is a great one to start with because after this, You're going to be smoking stuff where you can really pick out components. But uh, this is a good way to decide whether you like the Latakia in the English and that kind of thing. And again, I love the ribbon cut. Um, as a working guy, I've said it before, flakes just don't work for me when I'm on the job because I prefer to rub them out, usually. This ribbon is so nice to just stuff and puff. So that's it for today. want to thank you all for joining me. We'll catch you again.